Good morning, guys. Uh, I love our dragon fruit. A lot of flowers. I hope they will all become fruits. This is self pollinating. But I don't know if it's better if we pollinate them so that they will uh, all survive. Can you please give us a comment there if that's the right thing to do? The first bloom that uh, it, she had died. It didn't grow. You can see there. that one I hope this flower seed will give, give us fruit this year our guava has a lot of fruits too I don't know if they're pretty or they're just <laughs> just tell me guys if I need to uh, remove some or just leave it as is they're pretty isn't it they're beautiful This is now, guys, the outcome of the garden that we made in the backyards, in the patio. This is the improvement that we made. Oh, not me. My husband made, I should say. Correction, please. Give the credit to my husband. He's the one who made this happen. Crazy. Beautiful. They're more organized. Some of the clutters are gone. And there are more guys, but don't worry, we'll take them out soon. Pretty, they are pretty. More organized. We declutter our patio a little bit. We have more there. See, we have more there. We're working here. This is our work area. That's the other side that my husband was working it's less clutter now I still have to work on this these little pots here have those uh, propagation in there part that's a uh, this is a uh, uh, what do you call this? Palatucci, Palatucci, Plumeria. Look at that succulent there. They're burnt. Too much heat exposure. start changing color now this one this is a uh, California sunset so we turn always on in winter
That's the whole patio. I still have. See, that's my husband working hard on my garden. On his garden, I should say. It's his garden, not mine. I'm just a uh, extra. I replanted. I like this plant, guys. This is a uh, drought also resistant. It's a it's a beautiful uh, plant that stay inside the house. That they don't need a lot of water. I put that. Uh, I put it in that beautiful pot so that I can put it inside when they acclimated in that pot. I have this snake plants. Snake plants, guys. This is uh, Dama de Noche. I don't know if it's true. They said it's Dama de Noche. We'll see. It's expensive. I bought that for 35 bucks, $35. I just uh, planted some clavatum there. I have a lot of clavatum. It's easy to propagate. I'm not buying any uh, succulents anymore. I'll just uh, settle for what I have. This is too much. Korean succulents are expensive and and sometimes they just die on me. So it's a waste of money and effort, I think. I'll just settle for this beautiful ghosties. They're pretty anyway. Yeah, I just need to stress them. So they can give you beautiful color. I have a lot of these, I don't know the name. Griselda gave, gave me uh, three branches a year ago and here they are. Pretty. you on my on our uh, little garden in the back due to uh, inflation guys this help us so much with our food budget we can settle on this even this is what I eat every day it's okay with me healthy saluyot saluyot and the marungai tree we have marungai tree three of them here one in the pot they have a lot of leaves already i showed you before um the tomato uh this one here our ampalaya bitter melon it's a lot of fruits now we actually we harvested a lot already So many. Our saluyut gone wild. I will uh, harvest them today and uh, blanch it and put it in uh, on the freezer for winter use. You know, winter guys, there's no more vegetable. We cannot access any of this unless we buy it from a Filipino store those frozen here is the update of the apple they're big now they will turn orange when they're ripe so close they're almost ready so this year gives us a few uh, more than yet last year more fruits maybe next year we will have he will add uh, this apple will give us more fruit we learn how to uh, 
prune them so that they will bear more fruit next year. Pretty. This, remember this? This was the ampalaya that was on the pot. Here, it's too bushy now. Just al this alone will sustain us for our soup, tinola, or uh, inanger, beef, for the beef. It's good guys it's tasty when you put it on the soup for beef believe me try it and it's very nutritious a uh, lots of uh, benefits that uh, can give us so with the marungai but the marungai i put it on tinola or dineng deng in ilocano See, this is oregano, variegated oregano. Oh, we have, I have one string beans dead already. Has a lot of uh, mealy bugs. It's okay. We have also a uh, camote here in this uh, pot, raised garden. They're still small here. We will be uh, trailing from this basket. This is uh, pepper. This is hot pepper. And this is sugar apple. Sugar apple, guys, is artist in the Philippines. Uh, look at those uh, insects. There's insects in here. Mealybugs. Fungus. This is my industrious husband. No, I'm the, He's the I'm one just, uh, making all this I'm happen. I'm so lucky to have a wonderful husband. A gardener. A gardener, he said. Yeah. What are you eating? You're not even sharing me. Guava. Guava? Mm -hmm. There's guava already? Mm -hmm. That's our guava guys. We have I showed you before. Our harvest. This is what I harvested today. It's ready for blanching. I'll uh, blanch these guys for our uh, future uh, use. We have to be resourceful, guys. Especially, everything is expensive. We have to uh, eat what we have in the backyard. That's how we save money for our food budget. So, we try to uh, plant some of our tropical vegetables in the backyard so we have something to consume especially now that's so much expensive of all these prices in the market the bird is talking what are you saying hi bob are you saying something Okay, I'll show, I'll show you Bob. Bob is here. That's our dustpan. Hi, Bob. Can you say something to them? Hello. Say hi. Say hi to them. 
Say hi, Bob. That is Bob. Um, someone, a friend of my husband, uh, gifted to him a few months ago. And he speaks, he mimics, he talks. His name is Bob. He frequently say Bob or hello. Hi. Ha, Bob. Say something, Bob. Don't be shy. Say something. All right. Good night, Bob. Good night. Now, I prepared it already. I'm going to wash this and uh, I'm going to uh, boil water and blanch this so that I can preserve it. Have to cool it down first before you put in a ziplock and uh, freeze for future use. Tineng din guys, saluyot. We cook saluyot with uh, other leaves like uh, bitter melon leaves, marungay or moringa in other language, sitaw or string beans, bitter melon, the fruit of bitter melon and other vegetables that you want to put for your uh, dineng deng. I don't know in other country how they cook it but I know that other countries are also eating this kind of vegetables. I'm blanching to the boiling water. This is the sandwich that I harvest today. I miss guys the, to show you the water was boiling before I cooked the uh, saluyut leaves. So when this uh, saluyut change color, it will be ready to uh, cool down and uh, save it in a zip lock. And freeze after it's cool it's uh, cool down okay this is easy for those uh, if you have a lot of saluyot you can do this so that uh, you don't run out of vegetable in your house you always have this available anytime you want it okay this is cheap and it's uh, readily available when you have it in your refrigerator see the color has changed and uh, just uh, put the fire uh, turn off the fire so that it's not overcooked and it's not going to be so slimy when you put it in the refrigerator or freezer I should say okay that's how you do it so uh, I'm going to turn up the fire and then uh, you have to take this out from the stove because it's still hot and it will be overcooked so I let it cool down and uh, put it in the zip lock later when it's uh, cold, cold already or cool all right.